makeup princesses and today I'm gonna be bringing you a video about how to get eyeshadow to stay on when you have oily lids and trust me I have tried just putting a primer on I have tried you know just putting like a MAC paint pot on and then putting my shadow on and every time it seems like it creases on me because I have a lot of oil in my eyelids. So I found a technique that actually works for me and I wanted to share it with you guys to see if you can get the same results if you're experiencing the same problem. So um, what you need to do first is you need to have a good setting powder. I have two that I find work the best for me and I'll share those two with you. I like the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the Translucent Extra Coverage. That's the one I like to do. And then also I like to use the um, RMCA um, Setting Powder. This stuff is good too. And it's only like $10 or something like that, so it's a good deal. These, this is only like $6 or something like that at the drugstore, and it works wonders. Okay, so what you're going to do first is put a layer of setting powder on your eyelids, and I put it all the way up to my brow bone. And then if you're going to put like eyeliner or eyeshadow underneath your eyes, then I would put like powder underneath your eye eyes too. Then the next step is choose whether you want to do a primer or if you want to do an eyeshadow base. And then I'll give you some that I like to use, but you know, you can, you have a lot of different options that you can choose from. So a couple of my favorites to use is this Derma Blends um, Cover Cream Makeup. And my color is medium beige so I just take me some of this put it on my eyelid and put it on up to my brow bone and then that's after I set in my eyes with setting powder and then the next step what you're gonna do well actually let me let me go ahead and tell you I'm sorry I'm like being scatterbrained right now all right I'm gonna tell you a couple more of my favorite ones to use first and then we'll move on to the next step because we have to have options here people options are always good all right so another of my favorites is this um, benefit creaseless cream eyeshadow and the color that I have here is called birthday suit it is like a beige color like this it's really pretty and you just take some of this and put it on there it's kind of like a MAC paint pot all right or another option that's lower like lower end is gonna be a Maybelline color tattoo and this is in the color bad to bronze or bad of the bronze whatever you want to call it so that's a really pretty color right there Okay, another one that's a kind of um, higher end is, is your MAC paint pot, and this one's an Indian wood. Indian wood is one of my favorite colors to use as a base for my eyeshadows. Alright, so those are some of the bases you can use, Then I have a couple primers you can use. I have two lower end ones, and I have two that are higher end ones. I'll start with the two higher end ones. The Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion is a good one to use. Or the um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance is another good one that you can use. But, and remember, ladies, you got to put the powder on first before you put these down. All right, now two lower end ones that you can use. Uh, Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer, um, Eyes the Limit. That's a good one. They have other ones in this, too. They have like a smoky or they have a shimmer um, that you can get. And then also a new one that I found recently that I really like is this Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. And I have the one that's like um, illuminating one. 
it's like a shimmer to it. They also have one that's like more of a nude if you don't like the shimmer in there. And this works wonders, I love it. Okay, so then the next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna take powder again, but this time you can either take a brush, and what I do is I use this Signa um, large fluff brush, E50. I like to use this, and I'll put powder on my eyelids, you know, that's my starting step. Then I'll put my base, which I showed you guys some of my preferences for bases. And then I will take um, a powder again, and you can just, you know, use this brush again and set that over the, the base that you have. And then you can go in with your shadows after that. Or if you want to take it up a step, you can bake the, um, you can bake the powders onto your eyelids, up to your brow bone, and then kind of um, use the brush to dust off the excess. So that's another step. And then apply your eyeshadows. So that, it works wonders for me. It keeps my shadows on. And then your last step, after you have all of your makeup done, is to use a good uh, makeup setting spray. And I have a, low end, a lower end one, like a drugstore one, and then I have a higher end if you guys want to see. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro uh, Spray and Set. I use this one today. And then I have the, the um, Urban Decay All Nighter. So this, this is a good one too. It's a good one. All right, so that is how you get your eyeshadow to stay on when you have oily lids. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and remember that we're all beautiful. All right, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.